How do you weigh something you can never touch, never place on a scale, and never see in full from any angle? That's the mystery scientists had to solve when it came to measuring the mass of entire planets. And the answer? It all starts with gravity. Planets don't exist in isolation. They tug and pull on everything around them, especially their moons. That invisible tug is our clue. Imagine watching the moon orbit Earth. Its speed, its distance, and the time it takes to complete a revolution are all whispers from the planet's mass echoing across space. Using Isaac Newton's law of gravitation and Johannes Kepler's laws of planetary motion, scientists realized that the motion of an object in orbit could tell them exactly how heavy the central body must be. If a moon moves quickly in a tight orbit, the planet pulling on it must be massive. If it drifts slowly in a wide arc, the planet's mass is lower. It's not just the moon's either. Even the orbit of a spacecraft or the way a passing comet's path bends can reveal the gravitational fingerprint of a planet. This method is so precise, we can even weigh planets hundreds of millions of kilometers away, without ever going there. But mass is only part of the puzzle. Mass tells us how much matter a planet contains. Density, on the other hand, tells us how tightly that matter is packed. By comparing a planet's mass to its volume, which we estimate from its radius, we can uncover its internal secrets. Is it a rocky world like Earth? A gas giant like Jupiter? Or something in between? Take Saturn, for instance. It's enormous, over 95 times the mass of Earth. Yet it's so low in density that it would float in water. This strange fact reveals the nature of its composition. Mostly hydrogen and helium, spread out across a vast volume. In the end, it's all about the math. Centuries-old equations, still unshaken, allow us to peer into the darkness of space and weigh the giants orbiting our sun. Without ever touching them, we know their heft, their makeup, and even their secrets proving that in the vast silence of the cosmos, gravity still speaks the loudest.